In this video, we'll be looking at 10 of the best camping towels, which are the Nomadics full-sized towel, the Pack Towel Luxe, the REI Multi Towel, the Sea to Summit Tech Towel, the REI Multi Towel Light, the Pack Towel Personal, the Rain Leaf Towel, the Sea to Summit Dry Light, the Wise Owl Towel, and the Matador Nano Dry Towel. Basically, towels from lightweight to super fluffy. We'll be covering various aspects of these camping towels, such as absorbency, ringing, drying, odor resistance, grass and dirt repellents, sand repellents, portability, comfort, and quality. I spent over $200 in 5 months testing these towels to see how they stack up against each other and to put this video together. So if you found some value in this video, please smash that like button so this can be seen by more people. I will also be putting affiliate links to each of these camping towels in the description of this video. So if you do decide to buy a towel I recommend, it would mean a lot if you could use my links. Just one last thing before we start, if you need a more detailed review on any towel in particular, I also took the time to put together a video for each towel that I tested, complete with unboxing, features, specs, pros and cons and all that good stuff. And with that, let's get right into the first test, absorbency. For absorbency, I measured and tested three different things. First up is the total amount of water each camping towel can absorb in milliliters and in fluid ounces. For this, the Pack Towel Lux comes in right at the top and it can absorb 1300ml or 44 fluid ounces of water followed by the other bigger and fluffier towels. When it came to the less fluffy towels, the Pack Towel Personal did better than the rest, absorbing 610ml or 20.6 fluid ounces of water. Having a high total absorbency might be important in case you need to absorb water leakage in your tent or something like that. Second is the absorbency ratio which you can get by dividing the total amount of water absorbed in ml with the weight of the camping towel in grams. The towel with the highest absorbency ratio is the REI multi towel with a ratio of 4.8 times followed by the other fluffy towels. For the less fluffy towels, the pack towel personal beats the rest with a slightly higher absorbency ratio of 3.3 times. Third, how well does each towel dry me off after a shower? Some towels leave a thin layer of moisture on your skin and you don't feel completely dry, which can be unpleasant for some people. This is based on feeling and can be a bit subjective, but I tried my best to come up with this list. Of course, nothing beats your regular cotton bath towel. Very close to that, we have the Pack Towel Lux and the Nomadics Towel. Up until the Mesador, all of these towels did not leave my skin feeling damp, though some require more effort to dry off than others. The towels that left me feeling a bit damp was the Rain Leaf, Sea to Summit Dry Light, and the Wise Owl towels. They are still absorbent and dried me off pretty well, but I did feel a bit damp. Based on everything above, I rated each camping towel's absorbency by giving it a number between 0 and 10, with 10 being the highest, and here are those ratings from highest to lowest. Overall, all the towels had decent absorbency, with the Pack Towel Lux and the REI Multi Towel being tied for first place, and even the Matador Nano Dry at the end did okay. For the ringing test, I soaked each camping towel in water and spent 5-10 to 10 minutes wringing out as much water as possible. After, I weighed each towel and calculated how much water was left after wringing in percentage. Here are the results starting from the best, which is the Sea to Summit Tech Towel. Most towels ring out much better than a regular cotton towel, except for the REI Light and the Nomadics towels. The Nomadics towel is quite big and heavy, so I found it difficult to ring out. After completely soaking and wringing each towel, I let all of them dry both outdoors and indoors to see how long they would take. This is to simulate a situation where you have to wash your towel and let it dry after. Here are the results starting from the best. The Matador Nano Dry was the clear winner, taking just 14 minutes to dry outdoors and less than 2 hours to dry indoors. In dead last, we have the Cotton Towel, which took 2 hours and 15 minutes outdoors and a whopping 27 hours indoors. Based on the ringing and the drying time after ringing, I rated each towel and here are those ratings from the best to the worst. The general trend is that the more lightweight and the less fluffy the camping towel is, the easier it is to wring out and to dry after wringing. 
For this drying test, I measured out 100 ml or 3.4 fluid ounces of water to absorb with each towel and let all of them dry both outdoors and indoors. This is to simulate drying your body and hair after taking a shower. My towels typically absorb around 50 ml of water after my shower and yours might be different depending on your size and hair length. Here are the results for the drying test starting from the fastest drying. Again, the Matador Nano Dry came in first with quite a huge margin, taking just 20 minutes to dry outdoors and 2.5 and hours to dry indoors. Surprisingly, in last place we have the Sea to Summit Tech Towel, which took 45 minutes to dry outdoors and 7.5 and hours to dry indoors and took even longer than the cotton towel. Based on this drying time, I raised all the towels from best to worst right here. Similar to the previous test, the not fluffy towels dried faster and the fluffier towels dried slower. For odor resistance, I conducted three different tests on each towel. The first test was to soak the towel in seawater, wring it out as best as I could, and seal it in a plastic bag for four days. After four days, here's what each towel smelled like, starting from the best. The only three towels with no smell was the Pack Towel Lux, the Pack Towel Personal, and the Matador Nano Dry. A few towels had a bearable sea smell, while others had more unpleasant sour smells and even the smell of food going bad, which was the REI Multi Towel and the Cotton Towel. The second test was to shower and dry off with the towel once, and then seal it in a plastic bag immediately, also for four days. After four days, here's what each towel smelled like. The Pack Towel Lux, Personal, Matador Nano Dry, and the Nomadics Towels had no smell, while the REI Multi Towel and the Cotton Towel were the worst, with a somewhat heavy, musky smell. The third test was to use a towel every single day for 7 days without washing it. In between uses, the towel was left here, like this. I did this for every towel, and after 7 days of using each towel, here's the breakdown. Most of the towels had no smell after 7 days of continuous use without washing, except for the Sea to Summit Tech Towel and the REI Multi Towel, which had faint smells. The cotton towel smelled the worst, with a stronger musky smell. Based on everything above, these are the odor resistance ratings, with the best being the Pack Towel Lux, Personal, and Matador, and the worst being the cotton towel. For this grass and dirt test, I dragged each towel along a stretch of grass and stepped on them. Then I checked to see how much each towel picked up. If there was any grass, leaves or dirt picked up, I shook the towel to see how easily the grass or dirt will shake off. Here are the results from the best to the worst and the amount of grass, leaves and dirt picked up by each towel before and after shaking. The best was the Matador Nano Dry, which picked up nothing at all, even before shaking. Next is the Sea to Summit Dry Light, which picked up one speck of dirt, and this shook off easily. The Pack Towel Personal picked up two specks of dirt, shook off easily. Wise Owl, a few specks of dirt, shook off easily. Rain Leaf, a few specks of dirt, shook off easily. Nomadics, a few specks of dirt, shook off easily. The Pack Towel Lux, a moderate amount of dirt, but shook off easily. Next, the REI light picked up a few specks of dirt which could not be shaken off. Cotton towel, a few specks of dirt could not be shaken off. The Sea to Summit tech towel picked up heavy amounts of grass, leaves and dirt, some of which could not be shaken off. And lastly, we have the worst towel which is the REI multi towel. It picked up a lot of grass and leaves, most of which could not be shaken off. Based on these observations that I just talked about, here's how I ranked the towels. Those scoring 5 and below had grass, leaves, or dirt that could not be shaken off. For the sand test, I covered each towel with sand and then picked it up to see how much sand would stick to it. If there was sand stuck to it, I shook each towel to see whether it could be shaken off easily. So here are the results from the best to the worst and the amount of sand picked up by each towel before and after shaking. Again, the Matador Nano Dry performed the best, picking up only a minimal amount of sand that could be shaken off super easily. Most of the towels picked up a moderate amount of sand which also could be shaken off easily. These are the Pack Towel Lux, the Pack Towel Personal, the Nomadics Towel, the Sea to Summit Dry Light Towel, the Wise Owl Towel, 
the REI multi towel, the REI multi towel light, and the cotton bath towel. The two worst performing towels were the rain leaf towel, which had some sand stuck to it even after shaking it, and the Cedar Summit tech towel, which also had some sand stuck to it even after shaking. Based on these observations, here's how the towels ranked in the sand test. Those scoring 5 and below had sand that could not be shaken off. For portability, I looked at the weight and the packed size of each camping towel without the storage pouch. Here's the weight of each towel starting from the lightest in both ounces and grams. The Matador Nano Dry weighs just 2.4 ounces or 68 grams, while the Nomadix towel weighs 17.2 ounces or 488 grams. And here's the packed size of each towel from the smallest to the largest, which is quite proportional to the weight. Based on this, here are the portability ratings for each towel. Okay, so here's three pieces of additional information that you might want to know, but just take note that I did not factor this info into the scoring that you just saw. First, does the camping towel come with a hanging loop? In short, yes, all of them come with hanging loops. Second, does the camping towel come with a storage pouch? All the towels except for the Nomadix towel come with storage pouches. Third, does the storage pouch have a hanging loop? All the storage pouches except for the dry lights come with hanging loops. For comfort, there were a few things that I kept in mind when using the towels, such as whether the towel was soft, smooth, fluffy, thick or thin, and also the sizing. For me, the closer it came to feeling like a regular cotton bath towel, the higher it ranked, and here's my list starting from the most comfortable. Of course, nothing beats a cotton towel, but the Pet Towel Lux came very close to that. After, we have the REI Multi Towel and the Cedar Summit Tech Towel, both fluffy but not as comfortable as the Lux. The Nomadix comes after, it's not as thick and not as fluffy, but the sizing is super generous. Next is the Pack Towel Personal. It is quite a bit thinner than the cotton towel, but is soft and smooth with perfect sizing. The REI Light comes after, followed by the Rain Leaf, Dry Light, and the Wise Owl Towels, which are even thinner with smaller sizing. Lastly, we have the Matador Nano Dry, which is extremely thin, and this might take some getting used to. Next, whether the towel sticks to your skin is important as well, and here's my opinion on the stickiness of each towel. The cotton towel is the least sticky and nothing beats it, though the Nomadix towel and the Pack Towel Lux come quite close. The Pack Towel Personal and the REI Lite is where it starts to feel a bit sticky. The Matador and the Rain Leaf towel is quite sticky, and very sticky starts with the Sea to Summit Dry Light, and I feel that the Wise Owl is the stickiest. And with that, here are the comfort ratings with the Pack Towel Lux feeling almost like a cotton towel and the Matador Nano Dry being the least comfortable. For quality, I paid attention to the stitching around the towel, the overall material, and the weight of the towel after 4 months of usage. I also took note of bleeding issues, the quality of the hanging loop, and the quality of the storage pouch. So, after 4 months, for stitching material and weight change, here's my list of towels starting from the highest quality. My highest quality towel is the Nomadix towel because of its incredibly solid stitching. The material is also very durable and entirely intact with no loss in weight. Next, we have the Pack Towel Lux, Personal, Matador, REI Light, and Wise Owl towels. They all have good stitching and material with no loss in weight. After, we have the Rain Leaf Towel, which has lower quality stitching, and one of the corners started fraying a bit. The material and weight was fine though. And lastly, we have the three lowest quality towels, which are the REI Multi Towel, with loose threads and a 0.8% loss in weight, the Sea to Summit Tech Towel, with fraying and loose stitching, material that sheds, and also a 0.8% loss in weight, and in last place, we have the Sea to Summit Dry Light, with fraying stitching and a 1.3% loss in weight. As for bleeding of colours, here's the list of towels from the least to the most severe bleeding. The Nomadix towel and the REI Lite had no bleeding at all, even on the first wash. The REI Multi and the Sea to Summit Tech towels had a bit of bleeding on the first wash, and none after. 
The pet towel lux and rain leaf towels bled quite a bit on the first wash, but none after. The pet towel personal bled for about 3 washes, the wise owl for 4 washes, the matador for 5 washes, and the dry light is still bleeding after 5 washes. Most of my towels did not have any staining issues, but my matador's rust colour stained a little bit, while the dry light's berry colour had some heavy staining on the first wash. All the towels had good quality loops that are still functional after 4 months, but with small differences in quality. Here's my list starting from the best quality. I felt that the hanging loop on the Nomadix towel is the best stitched and the most secure. The Pack Towel Lux, Pack Towel Personal, the Sea to Summit Tech Towel and the Sea to Summit Dry Light Towels had good quality hanging loops. The Matador Nano Dry's hanging loop felt slightly less secure, while the Wise Owl felt slightly lower quality. The hanging loops of the REI towels felt a bit stiff, and the Rain Leaf loop felt stiff and also a little bit cheap, but still not too bad overall. And lastly, for the quality of the storage pouches, here's my list starting from the best quality along with my observations. The Matador Nano Dry comes in first with a high quality and cool looking silicone storage pouch, followed by the Sea to Summit Tech Towel with an EVA storage pouch. The Pack Towel Personal, Wise Owl, REI Multi and REI Light Towels all have good quality and lightweight storage pouches, though there's a slight difference in quality between the openings. The pouch of the Pack Towel Lux has a bit of fraying and loose threads. The Rain Leaf pouch also has fraying and loose threads and it does not have a zippered or velcro opening. The Sea to Summit Dry Light storage pouch comes in dead last with a massive hole in the pouch and velcro hooks that drop off. Based on everything above, here are my ratings for quality. In first place, we have the Nomadix towel with a perfect score of 10, and in last place, the Sea to Summit dry light towel. For overall performance, here's how all the towels performed in each test, from absorbency to quality. These are all the scores that I've been showing you since the beginning of this video. With each test weighted equally, here's the overall performance score for each towel. The Matador Nano Dry performs the best, followed by the Pack Towel Personal, and in last place we have the Sea to Summit Tech Towel that performed worse than a cotton towel. Before you buy any towel, let me talk about my 4 recommendations real quick. For the best overall camping towel, I'm actually going to recommend the Pack Towel Personal over the Matador Nano Dry. Because while the Matador is the best overall performer and scored fantastically across almost all the tests, it performed the worst in terms of comfort, scoring just 4 out of 10. The material is very thin, feels nothing like a regular cotton towel, and will definitely take some getting used to. That's why I'm recommending the Pack Towel Personal with the second best score. It still performs fantastically and has really good portability while not sacrificing too much on comfort. However, if comfort isn't your priority and you don't care what the towel feels like, then the Matador is an excellent pick for a camping towel. For the best budget pick, I'm going to go with the Wise Owl Towel. I was undecided between the Wise Owl and the Rain Leaf Towel through the longest of time because they were so comparable on all the tests, but finally I decided on the Wise Owl because of the higher quality and slightly higher overall performance. And here's the best part. If you need to get more than one towel, the Wise Owl Towel comes in a pack of two for less than $10 per towel, which makes it even cheaper than the Rain Leaf and of course incredible value for money. But ultimately, if you do decide to buy the Rain Leaf Towel instead, I think that's a solid budget pick as well. If comfort is your priority and you want your camping towel to feel like your shower towel at home, I don't have a better recommendation than the Pack Towel Lux. It may not feel exactly like a regular cotton towel, but it comes the closest to feeling like it. Plus, compared to a regular cotton towel, the Pack Towel Lux is more absorbent, easier to wring out, dries 30% faster, has infinitely better odor resistance, is more dirt repellent, and is more compact and lightweight. Basically, it beats a cotton towel in every aspect you can think of. And finally, if you're backpacking, hiking, or when portability is a priority, that's where the Matador Nano Dry Towel comes in. It is an outstanding and high quality camping and backpacking towel that cannot be beat in terms of portability, drying time, odor resistance, and dirt repellents. 
If you want to watch me pit the Matador Nana Drag against other backpacking towels, check out this video right here. And if you want to know how I tested and rated these camping towels, you might want to watch this video instead. I will link to these videos in the description below as well. If you are new to my channel, I'm Liz and I love camping, buying new products and sharing my experiences on this YouTube channel and on my blog at campingguidance.com. If you do decide to buy a towel I recommend, I would really appreciate it if you could use one of my links in the description below. And if this video helped you in any way, please smash that like button. Thank you for watching all the way to the end and I'll see you in the next one.